So I'm going to restart this recording. Uh, if you listen to the first part, I had stopped here and started explaining Spellbook, which I took a demo of uh, today, the only game I've played so far in day one at the Spiel. Uh, in Spellbook, you are competing wizards trying to cast uh, spells which will score you victory points in the various colors, but there's essentially scoring victory points in each one of these. You are um, you are building an engine whereby as you're drawing the, the tokens, by the way, the production on those tokens are awesome. They're acrylic, uh, double-sided, very pretty, and they're kind of dual use. You use them for color or you use them for the symbol that's on them. And when you gain enough tokens, you can then cast a spell which will gain you more victory points. Uh, that is the basic premise of the game. It is a light engine building game. Uh, I would say it was a very interesting mechanic, but I do not believe a game for most gamers. I'll put it that way. Sorry, I'm going to put this back up. That was sort of what the, uh, the table felt. A very light, uh, very light, engine building game so suitable for families which of course as we said this is the family hall all right we're gonna head down this way interesting that rebel studio is here uh in this hall rebel is uh an asmodee company they're known for many uh things including some heavier games um i venture a guess that they were obviously their games this time are going to be a little a uh, little lighter that's why they're they're uh just going here if you take a look at that cute 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 thing i'm going to try to zoom in on stephen cordell hey. stopping by stephen you're not live on the internet but no, no that's good you can stand there how are you doing you enjoying the uh, show it's great it's this my first time first so time at essen yeah Picking up all the games for he's got G-Con. oh so you're part of the team yeah. doing this and you're also going to be sort of helping the cause of getting games onto the cruise ship. Yeah. How come you're not on the cruise ship with us? Uh, uh, a little time, time, money, all yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, get yeah. retired first. Has to go back and the shop, right? Hopefully, I'll catch up with you later on. I'm doing a little bit of filming, man, but it's it's good seeing you. But we'll catch up. All right, buddy, take care. Stephen Cordell, good buddy of mine. Um, he's helping Board Game Geek. Jeff Anderson is here organizing uh, game pallets that are going to ship to be shipped directly back to Dallas, but also some that are going to be coming on the Spiel at Sea cruise that he's running uh, about six days after this show closes. Because uh, a group of us are going from here to Paris for three nights, to London for three nights, and then over to Southampton, UK, and jumping on a cruise ship, going back to the US 15 nights, Spain, Portugal, Two Canary Islands, Bermuda, and then back in the U.S. Going to be pretty wild. Anyway, I think I've given you a feel for Hall 6. Again, less crowded. You know, this hall is probably going to be mobbed on Sunday. Sunday at the Spiel, in Essen, is Family Day. So it's the least crowded day in general, but it's, it's it caters to families. So I have a feeling... It's going to be crazy on that day. I'm going to turn this around to see my face for one second. Again, I hope you're liking the little bits of coverage that I will be posting over time. Uh, you're already on the channel, so please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it very much. Stephen Bonacore, the Podfather of Gaming from Essen at the Spiel 2023. See you next time.